Hey guys, welcome to the video number 370 and in this video uh, we are going to talk about, we are going to solve a puzzle which I received, uh, you know, I received an email from my subscriber and uh, so we are going to talk about the arrays and the formulas which I have colored here, offset, row, direct, if error, large, every formula we are going to use, every function, actually these are the functions every function we are going to use and we are going to combine all these functions and we are going to make a one complex single big formula right so let me just directly take you to the first of all email which i received and uh, so uh, mike actually has uh, shared this uh, and he sent out this attachment and saying that I saw your videos it's awesome I saw your 60 videos till now well mind you are very uh, behind because you see that I'm actually on the video number 370 and you have just watched 60 videos so you got to buck it up man and you because there are a lot of lot of stuff on this channel right so for those who are watching the channel for the first time guys let me just take your 10 seconds to the playlist and find out all these different you know 44 playlist created for you if you want to be awesome in excel excel vba ms access and access vba these are all the different different playlists for you okay now the video which i'm going to talk about is uh, this is going to be on the arrays and what you can do is for watching this video things are mandatory for you and that is should be very much thorough with the two videos and they are the videos called uh, the very first video which you should know the understanding the rs basic part one and then understanding the arrays of the 10 row function part two because i'm not really going to talk about these functions again here though you should be comfortable with the indirect function and the large function as well just in case if you do not know about it go ahead and find out here there are some playlists which you have which i have created excel indirect function and uh, you know there is another called uh, excel uh, if error is also there and uh, if error actually comes with the vlookup so you can go ahead and watch that as well and uh, there is another function which i was telling actually uh, let me just show you the function was actually um, row and offset yeah offset and row so you can also go ahead and watch the video after before you watch these arrays and also go ahead and find out these excel offset function you know series where you can watch offset part one and part two. you will have a good understanding right so because arrays are the very powerful the formulas uh, in excel and if you are if you are a master in if you can become a master in you know excel arrays that means you can be a master in anything they are very very logical and they are very actually it looks like you know a little difficult also in that uh, you know in the beginning but if you follow the sequence of my channel you will understand each and everything right so i have already written the steps here for you uh, this is something i have started uh, you know of late uh, you know uh, on receiving your request that when you work on the arrays you tend to forget the previous steps and i understand because they are very difficult to write initially so it's always good to you know i should i can write the steps and then you can follow you can open your workbook and you can practice it so let's quickly start this requirement what actually this file is all about right so i received this file with this uh, you know from my subscriber with this result and if you look at the uh, you know requirement what exactly we are saying is we have the serial numbers here and we have some names here okay and uh, there are one two three four five numbers here so what happens we want to develop a formula which if i you know right here and drag it in all the directions it should actually give me all the numbers it should give me all the uh, the you know names which which actually uh, comes in front of the one so you can see here if you if you look at the one it has a g and then if you look at uh, another one maybe here yeah we have r and then there is another which is y right so y g r it can be in any order because this is what i see in the users file i think the major focus is that you to collect all these and if you look at the two guys you see that it has a and then b and uh, then it has k and then q and then there's another q and then you have r and then s and the same you know uh, numbers are reflecting here so how to do this well you can also make a vba program for that maybe in the coming videos i will discuss that to give you good insight on the vba coding but how can you do this with the arrays that is what we want to do now i'm going to run this step by step for you and then we will put that formula here and then i will drag it so guys what is the first thing i want to do uh, well the first thing which we would like to do is in this uh, column which is uh, a2 to a21 you would like to find out where exactly you have got the one Right now, I'm only focusing on the one part. I'm not going to cover the two, three, four, five later. 
once we are through with the formula we will put the formula here and we will drag it right now we are only focusing on the one okay so this is how you will do so i'm going to actually create an array which should give me all these numbers i close the bracket here now if you have followed my previous videos and if you know the rs basic then you know if i press ctrl shift enter and if i go to this equals to sign and i press f9 i will get to see all my numbers which are here you know which are available here from a2 to a21 what is the next thing you want to do well in this uh, table basically i want to find that what is the value which is equals to this value which is e10 okay so i now press ctrl shift enter now what will happen with every cell you will have the comparison you know which is going to be happen with the one number which is in the e10 right so what will happen uh, all in the entire table you know we, we will get it uh, checked and you will have false false true true combinations so wherever you see the true that means that particular four number you know there we have the one so if you look at this uh, one two three four five six seven so if you look at here one two three four five six seven you see that the true is coming right so what we are trying to do is that we are actually trying to find out the row numbers i want to find out the row numbers that where exactly on which rows i have this number one coming this table okay this is the first thing now i will do one thing for you uh, i will simply press f9 and we are just going to copy this output and i'm going to paste that output over here so that you can see okay now this is your output basically you can see here right so now you know that in arrays or even in excel false is always considered as zero right i have said this many times if you if you if you multiply these two you know text with each other you won't get error generally when you multiply text you get the error but false they are the numbers actually they are not considered as text so false actually is zero and the moment you write here true and you write here true what will happen the true is considered as one right so this is what exactly with this concept we are going to work here now what is the next step evaluate the row number of the lookup item multiplied the row and the offset array now you must be knowing this because this is a you know uh, the, the formula which i'm writing this is used this we use to create the arrays okay now since you're starting from the number two because the first row actually contains the header and do not need that so what you will do you will create the array which can have which can give you the ret return the numbers 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 17 you know and so on and then we will multiply that with this array so what will happen every false will be multiplied with the number becomes zero and wherever you have the true be able to capture the row number right so we're going to start this offset any item but it should be the row number two you can put you can select this b2 you can select a2 you can select f2 you can select any any cell but it has to be on the second row so i'm going to select the uh, you know c2 and then I'm, I'm going to put the row and the column as zero and then we are going to create the height so what is the height in your case so the height means that basically the number of rows which you want to create right so i have here 20 the number so i'm going to create the 20 and the column has to be the width has to be which you mean by the you know actually just to the column you're going to create this one press ctrl shift enter right now as i said if you don't understand this what i'm saying because i, I know i'm a little fast but it doesn't make any sense to repeat the same stuff again and again so guys you can go ahead and check out the excel offset function video i have talked about this in a very detailed manner so the moment i press and you see that i will get to see 20 zeros here but that is not something i want i want the row number of each you know zero so this is how you will prefix this row function so at the moment i press ctrl shift enter what will happen you get to see series called 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 you know uh, 21 so what will happen eventually you have created now two arrays so they are going to be multiplied with each other so what happens when you multiply the arrays or when you add when you subtract whatever the first element of the first array gets you know in this particular case going to be multiplied with the first element of the second array so wherever we have false that will be turned uh, you know into a zero and uh, wherever you have the two there means that you are multiplying one actually with the row number and then we will have the row number right so what i will do uh, i will simply go ahead and uh, i'm going to copy this entire stuff i have copied this and now i come back here and here i will multiply that you know this with this array right so eventually this is what you will get as i was telling you will get all the row numbers you can see here 
8, 17 and 21 this is what we are getting and guys 8 and 17 and 21 are the row numbers where actually you have this number coming you can see in this table you can see in the row number 8 we have one very nice and then the row number 17 also we have a you know one coming and then in the row number 21 also we have you know uh, one coming so this is perfect right so I'll just write the output here so that it is easy for you to understand now what you want to do is is the actual trick now we don't not, we don't need the zero zero zeros right so what we will do we will rearrange all these numbers especially the numbers which are coming then zero because zero doesn't make any sense right now the numbers which you are getting here like 8 17 21 they are actually the row numbers where you have this one coming so what we will do is I'm simply going to find out the largest number okay so I'm going to write here I I, I press I write equals to and what I will do I will simply is this and I press control shift enter and then I will find out the largest number so I'm gonna find the largest number here okay now you know that if I have to find the largest number which goes in the key parameter I'm going to actually select uh, uh, you know uh, the column number let's say I'm gonna select the column of a1 okay now the column of a1 why I'm selecting that because the moment you drag this formula left to right because you have, will have to remember put the formula here the moment you drag it left to right the column a1 will change to column b2 then uh, you know seat uh, uh, sorry column a1 will change to column b1 and then c1 d1 and automatically your columns numbers will change and you will have the answer called one two three four five six seven eight and so on so this is how you will get the largest number first you will get the this column a1 will return one so that means in your table which is this table right zero 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 eight and zero 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 seventeen and then zero zero twenty one you will find the first largest number so if I just press control shift enter look at this guys you will get to see the twenty one what to do with the twenty one twenty one actually is the row number right so finally what what we will do we are going to if you look at the next step in this step we are going to create the address now you know that everything is on the B column okay so I will simply do one thing I will simply write equals to and I will concatenate it with this entire function and what will happen eventually you will get to see b21 and when you have the b21 you know what you need to do I will use the indirect function indirect function will when I'm when I'm gonna write here indirect function and I paste the formula here remember how the indirect is going to work indirect will go in this b21 okay indirect will go in the b21 and in the b21 whatever value you have that will come out so this is how it is working so here you will have the 21 and then here you will have the b21 and then using the indirect you will have the answer okay and finally uh, we can also use the if error function in case just just in case if you have any error so this is how actually the formula is going to work okay so now uh, what is the next thing I want to do the next thing I want to do is I want to actually put all the uh, these functions you know this basically this the bigger function gonna copy this and I'm going to uh, paste it yeah so I just press equals to and press control V I to shift enter now this formula is ready now what we will do is we will quickly go ahead and check out that what we need to freeze so here you will freeze the you know this part C2 so that when you drag it down it should not change to C3 and C4 and so on because if you will do that then this 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 will not be generated in the next row it will start with the 3 4 5 6 and in the next row again it will start with the 4 5 6 and you do not need that is important thing why because every time you want to create this 234 because your data starts from 234 guys so we will freeze this okay what else we uh, we need uh, of course this has to be completely freezed because if you drag it down a2 a21 will change to a3 to a22 and then a4 to a you know three and we do not need that because every time you have to compare the values for these one two three four five you know then when you compare that your table has to be freezed it should it should be fixed every value has to be compared and here uh, this e10 uh, obviously uh, when I move it left to right it should not change to f10 so I'm going to freeze the e10 the e part of it and uh, I will keep my 10 open because if I drag it down then e10 will change to e11 and then the comparison will happen with the two so here which you in the you know this uh, the array which we have created with the lookup values coming and we are able to find out where exactly it is for all the trues it actually will be checked with the two and then with the three and with the four and so on right so I guess uh, this is fine with us and you don't have to freeze this column a1 um, because uh, 
if you move it left to right a1 will change to b1 and uh, so then uh, we will have the two and you know that if you have the two then this is for the large function which means that we will look for the second largest number third largest number and so on okay? if you drag it down again the column a1 or column a2 column a3 that remains the same it's not going to make any difference okay so i press ctrl shift enter and this is what you get which we were getting the point is if you drag it left to right let's see we can get the value there we go wow perfect so we got the y we got the r we got the g right and the same numbers are coming here okay? now if i just drag this function and before i drag this i want to also handle the error so for the for those the values where we have the error should be able to you know handle that with the space now i press ctrl shift enter and uh, I just now why are you getting the error i hope you understood yes here this column b1 is going to give you four you are saying that in the table where you have one coming you want to find the fourth largest number guys if you look at this table you now here the 21st was the you know, first largest number 17 which was actually the row number the second largest number this eight was the third largest number there is no fourth largest number because one is not coming here right if i just write here one for example i press enter see that this is going to come here because now large can find out the fourth largest number is word so that is why it is getting the error so let us quickly go ahead and drag this this is how the formula would look like and i'm, go I'm going to simply drag it down let us see if we can do that i copy this and i'm going to paste it here Wow, oh, this is terrific. So I think uh, I've got the output here, and uh, uh, so I can, uh, you know, change anything. Maybe I can write here three. For example, you see that everything is changing. If I write here two, and if I write here one, if I write here one, one, you see the formula is working, guys. Right. So this is, you know, how the arrays actually work. I'm again repeating uh, I don't have the habit to run the videos fast because I have a simple aim that what I say should mean to you right you should be able to understand you know the thing it should give some meaning to you just in case if you think that I'm um, I have gone little fast then as I said that you first need to be very much comfortable with the offset function and so offset for that you should watch these two videos right especially this one but this you should be uh, watching only after this because then you will have a more confidence once you're through with this and if you know the indirect fine if you don't know the indirect please go and watch here the playlist which says excel indirect function there is a playlist which i have created here right? and then uh, after watching that indirect what you can do you can go to the excel uh, you know the arrays right excel arrays most powerful and videos which i talked about uh, especially this one as well after watching the part one the part two offset and row the same video the same technique which we have used here if you look at this uh, array three uh, here i've used this row and offset right so here we just written it very fast i mean i didn't really explain it um, you know in depth but then the videos are already there guys you need to catch up that right and then if you come back here it will make a lot of sense if you already know the arrays then i hope you will be able to you you have actually understood everything right this is what i believe so this is how you can create this entire thing and it was indeed a very good question i'm gonna keep this question for my students also you know who whom i actually uh, train online so thank you so much mayank keep posting your comments and i would appreciate if you also go ahead and post these questions uh, on the youtube channel right not just on you know send me the email though you can always send out the file to me but at the same time um, you know so that everybody can see how the you know the channel is growing you should actually i request you to post the comments or the questions whatever you have the doubts on the channel itself so that's it for now guys and uh, i'll see you next time and uh, in an attempt to answer your further more queries and uh, thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do subscribe